Welcome to the Daily Bible Project. I'm Sam. So glad you're along reading with me. Today we are in Exodus chapter 7 through 9. We are picking up with Moses on our 20th day of reading together in Egypt. He has gone down to see Pharaoh to tell him that God wanted him to let his people go. And Pharaoh said, uh, no. So, God and Moses have been continued talking, and Moses is going back to Egypt with his brother Aaron. Things are getting ready to get bad in Egypt. Fantastic story. Takes about 10, 12 minutes to read this section today. Worth the read. I'm going to pull it up on the screen and you can read along. Give me just a second to pull that up. Exodus 7. Yahweh said to Moses, Behold, I have made you as God to Pharaoh, and Aaron your brother shall be your prophet. You shall speak all that I command you, and Aaron your brother shall speak to Pharaoh, that he let the children of Israel go out of his land. I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh will not listen to you, so I will lay my hand on Egypt and bring out my armies, my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. The Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh when I stretch out my hand on Egypt and bring the children of Israel out from among them. Moses and Aaron did so. As Yahweh commanded them, so they did. Moses was 80 years old and Aaron 83 years old when they spoke to Pharaoh. Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh speaks to you, saying, Perform a miracle, then you shall tell Aaron, Take your rod and cast it down before Pharaoh, and it will become a serpent. Moses and Aaron went into Pharaoh, and they did so, as Yahweh had commanded. Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called for the wise men and the sorcerers. They also, the magicians of Egypt, did the same thing with their enchantments. For they each cast down their rods, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he didn't listen to them as Yahweh had spoken. Yahweh said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is stubborn. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Pharaoh in the morning. Behold, he is going out to the water. You shall stand by the river's bank to meet him. You shall take the rod which was turned to a serpent in your hand. You shall tell him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to you, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. Behold, until now you haven't listened. Yahweh says, In this you shall know that I am Yahweh. Behold, I will strike with the rod that is in my hand on the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. The fish that are in the river will die, and the river will become foul. The Egyptians will loathe to drink water from the river. Yahweh said to Moses, Tell Aaron, Take your rod and stretch your hand over the waters of Egypt, over their waters, over their streams, and over their pools, and over all their ponds of water, that they may become blood. There will be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. Moses and Aaron did so, as Yahweh commanded. And he lifted up the rod and struck the waters that were in the river, in the sight of Pharaoh, and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. The fish that were in the river died. The river became foul. The Egyptians couldn't drink water from the river. The blood was throughout all the land of Egypt. The magicians of Egypt did the same thing with their enchantments. So, Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he didn't listen to them as Yahweh had spoken. Pharaoh turned and went into his house, and he didn't even take this to heart. All the Egyptians dug around the river for water to drink, for they couldn't drink the river water. Seven days were fulfilled after Yahweh had struck the river. Exodus 8 
Yahweh spoke to Moses, Go into Pharaoh and tell him, This is what Yahweh says, Let my people go, that they may serve me. If you refuse to let them go, behold, I will plague all your borders with frogs. The river will swarm with with frogs, which will go up and come into your house, and into your bedroom, and on your bed, and into the house of your servants, and on your people, and into your ovens, and into your kneading troughs. The frogs shall come up both on you and on your people, and on all your servants. Yahweh said to Moses, Tell Aaron, Stretch out your hand with your rod over the rivers, over the streams, and over the pools, and cause frogs to come up on the land of Egypt. Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. The magicians did the same thing with their enchantments and brought up frogs on the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat Yahweh that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go, that they may sacrifice to Yahweh. Moses said to Pharaoh, I will give you the honor of setting the time that I should pray for you and for your servants and for your people, that the frogs be destroyed from you and your houses and remain in the river only. Pharaoh said, Tomorrow. Moses said, Let it be according to your word, that you may know that there is no one like Yahweh, our God. The frogs shall depart from you, and from your houses, and from your servants, and from your people. They shall remain in the river only. Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried to Yahweh concerning the frogs which he had brought on Pharaoh. Yahweh did according to the word of Moses, And the frogs died out of the houses, out of the courts, and out of the fields. They gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was a respite, he hardened his heart, and he didn't listen to them as Yahweh had spoken. Yahweh said to Moses, Tell Aaron, Stretch out your rod, and strike the dust of the earth, that it may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt. They did so. And Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod, and struck the dust of the earth, and there were lice on man and on animal. All the dust of the earth became lice throughout all the land of Egypt. The magicians tried with their enchantments to produce lice, but they couldn't. There were lice on man and on animal. Then the magicians said to Pharaoh, This is God's finger. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened. And he didn't listen to them, as Yahweh had spoken. Yahweh said to Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh. Behold, he comes out to the water and tell him, This is what Yahweh says, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if you will not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies on you, and on your servants, and on your people, and into your houses, The houses of the Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies, and also the ground they are on. I will set apart in that day the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarm of flies shall be there. To the end you may know that I am Yahweh on the earth. I will put a division between my people and your people. This sign shall happen by tomorrow. Yahweh did so. And there came grievous swarms of flies into the house of Pharaoh and into his servants' houses. In all the land of Egypt, the land was corrupted by reason of the swarms of flies. Pharaoh called for Moses and for Aaron and said, Go, sacrifice to your God in the land. Moses said, It isn't appropriate to do so, for we shall sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians to Yahweh our God. Behold, If we sacrifice the abomination of the Egyptians before their eyes, won't they stone us? We will go three days' journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to Yahweh our God, as he shall command us. Pharaoh said, I will let you go, that you may sacrifice to Yahweh your God in the wilderness, only you shall not go very far away. Pray for me. Moses said, Behold, I am going out from you. I will pray to Yahweh that the swarms of flies may depart from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people, 
tomorrow. Only don't let Pharaoh deal deceitfully any more in not letting the people go to sacrifice to Yahweh. Moses went out from Pharaoh and prayed to Yahweh. Yahweh did according to the word of Moses, and he removed the swarm of flies from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people. There remained not one. Pharaoh hardened his heart this time also, and he didn't let the people go. Exodus 9 Then Yahweh said to Moses, Go into Pharaoh and tell him, This is what Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, says, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let them go and hold them still, behold, Yahweh's hand is on your livestock, which are in the field, on the horses, on the donkeys, on the camels, on the herds, and on the flocks, with a very grievous pestilence. Yahweh will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Egypt, and nothing shall die of all that belongs to the children of Israel. Yahweh appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow Yahweh shall do this thing in the land. Yahweh did that thing on the next day. And all the livestock of Egypt died. But of the livestock of the children of Israel, not one died. Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not so much as one of the livestock of the Israelites dead. But the heart of Pharaoh was stubborn, and he didn't let the people go. Yahweh said to Moses and to Aaron, Take handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it toward the sky in the sight of Pharaoh. It shall become small dust over all the land of Egypt, and shall be boils and blisters, breaking out on man and on animal throughout all the land of Egypt. They took ashes of the furnace, and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses sprinkled it upward toward the sky, and it became boils and blisters, breaking out on man and on animal. The magicians couldn't stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boils were on the magicians and on all the Egyptians. Yahweh hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he didn't listen to them, as Yahweh had spoken to Moses. Yahweh said to Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh and tell him, This is what Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, says, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For this time I will send all my plagues against your heart, against your officials, and against your people, that you may know that there is no one like me in all the earth. For now I would have stretched out my hand and struck you and your people with pestilence, and you would have been cut off from the earth. But indeed, for this cause I have made you stand, to show you my power, and that my name may be, de may be declared throughout all the earth, because you still exalt yourself against my people, that you won't let them go. Behold, tomorrow about this time I will cause it to rain a very grievous hail, such as has not been in Egypt since the day it was founded even until now. Now therefore command that all of your livestock and all that you have in the field be brought into shelter. The hail will come down on every man and animal that is found in the field and isn't brought home, and they will die. Those who feared Yahweh's words among the servants of Pharaoh made their servants and their livestock flee into the houses. Whoever didn't respect Yahweh's word left his servants and his livestock in the field. Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward the sky, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, on man and on animal, and on every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt. Moses stretched out his rod toward the heavens, and Yahweh sent thunder and hail, and lightning flashed down on the earth. Yahweh rained hail on the land of Egypt, so there was very severe hail, and lightning mixed with the hail, such as had not been in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. The hail struck throughout all the land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both man and animal. And the hail struck every herb of the field, and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hail. Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron, and said to them, I have sinned this time. Yahweh is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Pray to Yahweh, for there has been enough of mighty thunderings and hail. I will let you go and you shall stay no longer. Moses said to him, As soon as I have gone out of the city, I will spread out my hands to Yahweh. 
the thunder shall cease, and there will not be any more hail, that you may know that the earth is Yahweh's. But as for you and your servants, I know that you don't yet fear Yahweh God. The flax and the barley were struck, for the barley had ripened and the flax was blooming. But the wheat and the spelt were not struck, for they had not grown up. Moses went out of the city from Pharaoh and spread out his hands to Yahweh, and the thunders and hail ceased, and the rain was not poured on the earth. When Pharaoh saw that the rain and hail and the thunders had ceased, he sinned yet more, and hardened his heart, he and his servants. The heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he didn't let the children of Israel go, just as Yahweh had spoken through Moses. We will be reading Exodus 10, 11, and 12 tomorrow. Please hit subscribe. Leave a comment if you don't mind. Tell me what you think of what we're doing here, and uh, would love to love to hear your comments on that. Be kind. <laughs> or be ugly. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever you put, I want to hear your, your honest feedback. But uh, truth of the matter is, we're just reading the truth of the matter. This is God's Word, so glad you're along. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for uh, being here today. Bye now.